everyone, it's Dwayne and welcome to the channel. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but basically what I do is I take a song or uh, a band, whatever, usually a song, and I'll try and reconstruct the tone on the quad cortex using uh, stock amps and cabs and effects and stuff like that. And today what we're going to be doing is a song called The Thread by The Devil Wears Prada. So this is from an album they released back in 2019 called The Act. Uh, and the guitar tone on this album is like amazing. It's one of my favorite guitar tones. Uh, and I'm surprised it's taken me long, this long to do it because uh, it's a nice solid high gain tone. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to get straight into it. And we're going to create our preset. So I've got an instrumental here. Um, you just kind of need a few seconds of how it sounds. Yeah, super sick song. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and just get in the ballpark of this. So I'm going to use, I think I'm actually going to use a different noise gate for this. I often will use like the, um, the what do you call it? The uh, like lane gate, but I think I'm actually going to use a utility gate on this. I'm going to set the threshold to like negative 40. We want it to be like, we want it to have a pretty, pretty good, like kind of uh, cut up sound because we want it clean. We'll set the attack to 10. Um, for the release, we're going to put that on 100. And the range, um, we're going to keep that off. So we may tweak this a little bit because I don't usually use the utility gate too much, but. We'll see how we go. Um, I am going to put an overdrive in there, but I'm going to highlight why we need the overdrive um, by putting the amp in there and kind of showing you what it sounds like without it and then why you need it. So usually I'll default to the 412 Zilla cabinet because uh, that's it's just, it just sounds so good with the red. So. So that's the default settings. It doesn't sound too bad, um, but you can hear it's not gained enough and boosted enough. So we are actually going to put an overdrive in there. This could actually be a very quick video, but we're going to use the green 808, of course. We're going to put no overdrive. I am going to put a little bit of tone on here, just to color it a little bit. And we're going to put the overdrive just on eight. We don't want to kind of drive it too hard I don't think. Let's hear how that sounds. Not loud enough is it? We need to kind of put the master up to like six. That's better. Okay. So Let's play the song and I can hear that's actually pretty close. Is it spot on? It's not spot on yet, but it's actually surprising with these stock settings. It actually sounds pretty good. Um, it does come down to playing and pickups and stuff. These are passives, but they're pretty like high output passives. Uh, if you had active pickups, this would probably sound even better, I reckon. What we're going to do is we're going to tweak around now at the settings and kind of try and get that sound. I can hear there's a lot more saturation in there. I think I can hear the mid is slightly scooped. Um, treble, I think, might be up one. We will dial up the presence just a little bit. We may tweak that a little bit further. Um, can try putting the resonance up. I don't usually touch that. Let's hear that sounds.
Then start goes like. put the master up a little bit more because I think I need to hear it a little bit better. Doesn't sound too bad, I don't think. Um, we're going to try putting a little bit of overdrive on there. Sometimes I can kind of make the sound a little bit um, meatier, but you don't want to kind of distort it too much. You want the amp distortion. <laughs> Oh, I think um, the noise gate's a little bit aggressive on here, actually. What we're going to do is I'm going to turn this off. Oh, yeah, it's noisy here. And let's go... Maybe the, uh, the input gate's better. I actually think I prefer that. The um, utility gate, we could probably could have tweaked that a little bit, but I think it was a little bit aggressive for my taste on there. Um, we haven't really got a whole lot. It's a pretty straightforward sound, to be honest with you, but I think we could probably do with some like post amp EQ on there as well. Um, I might actually do a graphic nine because I don't want to do anything too chaotic. But I'm going to try some stuff here. Usually I would not boost 65k, um, but we're going to see kind of how 65 hertz sounds. Uh, maybe if we boost that, but then drop the 125 by a couple of decibels. Hey, that's starting to sound a little bit better. Um, we might drop the 250 as well. By two. Let's see how that sounds. It doesn't sound too bad. That's a cool little metalcore tone on there. Um, at the 1K, we might try boosting that. And how does that sound? You gotta be careful because different pickups will be affected differently by these EQ sounds as well. So you don't wanna be too aggressive at some of these ranges, but uh, we're doing pretty minimal sort of adjustments. So 2K boost. <laughs> I'm actually liking that a lot. Um, we might even boost the, the 4K as well. Something I r don't really do a whole lot, but sometimes it's warranted. Well, the 4K boost really, um, it actually really made a kind of difference that you can hear it. And we probably want to do a cut at 16 of about one, maybe.
I think that sounds really good. Um, so one thing I also do sometimes do is I will add like a reverb or something like that in there. But I think what I actually want to do is I want to compare what we have to the song again. So I'm not going to go right from the start. Let's hear how this sounds. happy with that that sounds pretty damn good um there's not really a whole lot more we could do to this like this we could leave this here and i would be pretty happy with this tone um but what i do like to do sometimes is add like a light reverb in there um it can kind of give it a little bit of like more fullness and um what's the word but yeah, basically like fullness pretty much. Um, so for the pre-delay, we're going to set that to 30. Um, and for the decay, we don't want that super high. Um, I'm actually going to put that down to like 25%. Uh, and then the high pass, we can drop that down to 100. And then we're going to put the low pass around about 8,000, I reckon. Now we may not even use this set. So We'll see how it sounds. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Uh, let's put that down to 15. See what I mean? The reverb just kind of like gives it a bit of a... It kind of gives it a bit more um, personality and wideness. I kind of guess almost like you're, um, you're replicating multi-tracks because there's a little slight delay in there. I like it. Uh, obviously, you know, adjust to taste, but I'm going to save that. I'm going to call that the thread. Because uh, this will be available on Cortex Cloud, of course, um, for you to download and try on your Quad Cortex, or maybe you're following along and doing this on your plugins or whatever. But basically, we've got an overdrive, um, pretty standard. We did bump the tone up a little bit. Um, you got pretty high gain on here. I don't usually go super high, but this song, this song needs the gain. Um, we didn't touch the bass. We didn't kind of want to make it muddy or too thin. Uh, we pulled out some of the mid because it is kind of like, even though it is heavy, it's you can hear it's kind of played in a lot of like one string stuff, um, like open one string, and you kind of want, uh, I guess, to scoop the mids out for that kind of sound for this style of music, but you could probably set that to five and you wouldn't even notice a difference really. Treble six, um, presence slightly bumped up, resonance slightly up. Uh, obviously, master the taste, and then we've got the Zilla V30s in there. We didn't touch. Um, we did some graphic nine EQ adjustments. We didn't use the parametric um, because we didn't need to. Very, very kind of gentle, sort of down, up, and then down again. And of course, the uh, you know your preference, of course. But uh, 
a plate reverb just to kind of fill it out a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to try and play it. Um, keep in mind, I'm not super like well versed in how the song actually goes. I love the song, but um, I've never really attempted to play it before. So this will be interesting, but just, yeah, just focus on the tone. That's all. Down. Yeah, it's so sick of that. But yeah, just to recap, I think it got pretty close. I think he uses a Soldano amp. I think the EVH on the Quad Cortex is a little bit better for high gain stuff. I'm not really a fan of like the Soldano amps on the Quad Cortex at the moment, to be honest, for high gain stuff. And there's just something about them. I think once we get to plugins, we'll get better versions. But uh, EVH Red Channel, obviously, I think is the go for this type of stuff. But is that part of that? Yeah. Okay, I messed up the picking a little bit. that clean part as well uh you could probably create another scene in there i reckon that A little bit messy, maybe better playing would make it sound better, but 
Yeah, I think that is that is pretty good um, for our tones. So just to quickly recap what we have, it's a classic high gain tone. I've created so many variations of the sound. Obviously the gain here kind of matters on here because you want it to, you want it to obviously kind of um, saturate a little bit. Tube Screamer here, um, we're not pushing it too drastically, the level's at eight, but that also kind of EQs and boosts the amp as well. And it gives you that classic, you know, Tube Screamer boosted metal sound. It's essentially, I would say, um, it's kind of metalcore-ish, um, which makes sense because obviously they use, their roots are in metalcore. Um, but it's got like that kind of raw sort of heavy um, ness to the guitar tone that I really like. Not just on this track, but the whole album basically has, you know, this same guitar tone. It's like they just set the amp up and just kind of maybe uh, danced around on some pedals. But yeah, you can see not really much in the way of settings. Even the stock standard amp settings would actually sound pretty good. Um, Standard V30, Zilla Cab, as I said, nothing there. Um, some minor EQ adjustments, as you can see, nothing too drastic. Plate reverb as well, which is optional, but I kind of put it in there to fill it out. I'm going to link this in the description and I'm going to upload this up to Cortex Cloud and I will link it down in the description below. But um, yeah, let me know how you think I went on that tone. Obviously the uh, guitar playing, kind of matters from a tone perspective, but I feel like I got close enough that you kind of hear the essences there. And, you know, maybe if you have better pickups, um, you know, strings aren't as dead as these and better playing, I think it would sound like, I think this preset would be pretty good for pretty much, you know, any type of metal, modern metal anyway. But yeah, download it, have a play around with it. Um, and if you have any songs that you'd like to see me tackle next, let me know in the comments as well, because I do take requests. Throw them on the list. I obviously, you know, ideas are welcomed and uh, I'm not really constrained to just metal. I'll do like rock and all that kind of stuff. So if you have songs that you would like to see me try and uh, deconstruct a tone for, just let me know in the comments. And yeah, the link in the description. And uh, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. And um, hopefully see you in the next one.